what's the role of college going to be going uh, ongoing? Mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. It seems less and less relevant mm -hmm, to right. what students are doing, and, it, and and now they're trying to change, but will they change fast enough? What will they change to to right, be? Right. But but uh, more and more and more people are questioning this automatic thing that used to be there is you're going to go to college. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, and I think it's it's looking at how as these models that are more learner centered and learner directed in particular is that's going to create a demand at that next level is is this is all you know I'm, we primarily focus on K12 and so what is that that college level look like when you start having these people who are self directed are self -directed, are they going to demand you know traditional college or are they going to demand you know better opportunities to start something or better opportunities to be an entrepreneur or better opportunities to who knows what but i think as as the learner directed learner centered stuff grows that's going to change the demand for college and and we have no way of knowing what that's you know how it's going to change you know, um, I, I have felt that goddard college's low residency program mm. uh, was a good model mm -hmm. and a number of colleges are following it where they go on campus for about 10 days. Right, right. There are the teachers, meet the other students, design independent studies, and then go home and do them. Yeah. However, yeah. Goddard got to the point where even that wasn't particularly financially sustainable. Mm, yeah. And I'm not sure what they're going to be doing, you know, yeah. but I think the model makes some sense. Yeah, yeah. And I would say, um, you know, working in universities and and all I think I think we're seeing some of that starting to happen already. When you're talking about the demand for different types of different type of setup in in higher education, um, because again, I mean, I think you know there are a lot of people that are becoming aware of like, okay, yes, I realize I need to. There's certain things I need to know about if I want to be in this field or whatever. Right. But there's also ways to do this where it's more learner centered learner, learner directed and i would also say it's interesting having helped you know students apply for college and mm -hmm. colleges mm -hmm. look for self direction like it's right. it's really <laughs> interesting right it's like it's almost like like jerry said those two ideas sometimes don't play well together but they look for you know students that are self directed and and right. i you know in in alternatives that i work we've had colleges that contacted us like we want your seat like are yeah, any yeah. of your students interested in us? Like, you know, have, a, or, Hey, encourage them to at least send in an application, you know, maybe they right, don't, right. We, they won't end up here, but we think your kind of learners would do really well here. And, and so, and, 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 you know, I do haven't done, you know, college mental health counseling, mental health, uh, sorry, mental health counseling with college students. And they would come to me and I'd be like, well, you're kind of in the driver's seat here. You know, you can, right advocate for yourself you can do that you know and and so it's interesting it's like they that's why i'm saying i, I colleges look for that because right. you know let's face it resource wise they don't want to have to have students that they need to over you know have all these resources to support just so they can graduate mm -hmm. right and mm -hmm. honestly it comes down to a financial kind of idea yeah. like you know, we don't necessarily want you to use our academic center because now we have to hire two more people because <laughs> all of this, right? Right, and and I, I know that's kind of a, a a dark way to look at it, kind of, but it but in, it's a reality, right? It's right, like, right. This is the Agentic Schools Vodcast, where you will learn about schools from around the world, where children's agency to make decisions about their learning and living is more important. Than their academic skills. What makes education possible is the satisfaction of psychological needs, so that is what these schools have in common with all others. What makes a school agentic is satisfying those needs particularly well. I'm your host, Don Burr.